Hello, this is Bishop again, and this is part three of my incredibly unscientific highway driving in the mountains during a rainstorm test. So right now I'm on Highway 24, uh, which is the highway that I was mentioning in one of the previous videos in this sequence about how the autopilot is behaving during very sharp turns on windy mountain roads where there's not necessarily a lot of forward visibility. So right now, this is very interesting, so you can actually see what the car is kind of doing. Um, Fortunately, Highway 24 does have posted GPS data for the speed limit, so I'm able to actually travel at the, the normal speed that cars should be traveling out of this road. Um, I am keeping a really close eye on the autopilot right now. However, because I don't blame it right now for what it's doing, but it's ping pong, it's whoa, swerving, swerving, swerving. Okay. Got control again. Uh, if it goes much worse than this, I'm going to take over. Basically, what's happening is, yeah, okay, taking over. Uh, basically, what's happening is because the roadway is wet and we are heading west in the afternoon, so we're heading towards the sun, uh, there's quite a lot of reflection on the road. Even me as a human driver, using my human eyes, which granted are slightly augmented by the fact that I'm wearing glasses because I don't have that great eyesight without them, um, I'm having actually a lot of difficulty making out the lane lines myself. Now, it didn't actually leave the lane at any point, um, but it can't see the lane lines very well, and neither can I, honestly. And I'm sure you can probably see this in the video as well. The lane lines are not very visible right now. Um, let me try turning it back on, and we'll see what it does. Okay, let's slow down there. All right. So what it's doing is, I, I think it's basically catching a lane line on one side or the other. It's doing the ping pong effect that the previous autopilot um, had problems with in wide lanes. Yeah, I okay, guess way too swerving. So I'm taking back over. Um, where if the lane were significantly wider than the car, uh, basically what the car would do is it would grab one lane or line or the other lane line. And sometimes it would have difficulty making up its mind about which lane line it wanted to stick to. So it would end up bouncing back and forth between them, ping pong effect. That's exactly what it's doing right here. And normally I would be perfectly inclined to let it do that as long as it's staying within the lane. However, the road's kind of wet and I'm a little nervous about it pushing back and forth on a wet road, especially while I'm going downhill at over 60 miles an hour. Um, so that's interesting. Let's see what happens when I get into the next highway segment, which will be north facing. So I'm not going to be going into the sun um, and we'll see how it performs there. Thanks for watching.